I tell you guys why I have this kind of satanic laughter going on right now, you'll understand. This weekend, <laughs> and I'm looking around my house partially because I'm waiting for like a lamp to fall on me. Um, and I'm just, I was looking when I hit record and it just seems so dark back here and I'm like, it's broad daylight. Why is it so damn dark in here? Please forgive me. My favorite mugs from Pier 1. And as you can see, this is green tea. You guys, so many of you are writing to me. I haven't heard this song forever. I'm so glad I found it. Um, so many of you are writing to me about quitting coffee and, and my whole thing. <laughs> It really is funny, too, because I saw my parents this weekend in the midst of the calamity that was going on here. And um, my dad, so my whole life, my mom has, I don't know what the correct term is. We were discussing this earlier. Is it is it correct term to say my mom, my mom has always drank? My mom has always had, whatever, let's just say, every morning my mom would always have coffee. I, that's how I started drinking coffee when I was in high school. My dad would always drink hot tea. My whole life, I've always been like, tea? Like, tea, to me, is what you drink when you're sick. And it, it tastes great, but I was never like, I never thought tea was something I would want to drink, right? Here's what's funny. Uh, sorry, just had another thought. Um makes me want to get on the treadmill. <laughs> um, do you ever have certain, I know I'm all over the place more so than usual, do you have certain songs that if you're on the treadmill or you're, you're doing your workout and you're ready to give up or ready to stop because you're tired and then a certain song comes on and you're like, ah, this is one of those songs for me and pretty much anything from Nickelback. I digress again. So my dad would always drink tea, my mom always drank coffee and then I started drinking coffee as you all know. What's funny is that recently, there's so many things with my parents that have flip-flopped. Um, my dad has always been the one that liked to keep the house cooler. My mom wanted it warm, and she was always like, it's cold in here. And my dad's like, I'm just the asshole paying the bills. Keep turning the heat up. <laughs> so now, my dad is always cold, and my mom is hot, like me. We're both like, ah! Oh. <laughs> so the other thing is, is now my mom, is, uh, well, no, she's still drinking coffee, but she's moving from decaf into, she said to me the other day, she's like, Kelly, I actually like the feeling of a little caffeine in the middle of the day. I'm like, and then my dad has gone to starting to have coffee in the morning. So when I was over there the other day, which I'll explain why I was over there, um, he's like, Kelly, you want a cup of coffee? I'm like, actually, you know, no. And he's like, but anyway, three minutes of me rambling to say, this is the best mix of the song. Many of you that read my blog and watch my videos were a fetus when this original song was out. So you're probably like, I've never heard this song. Um, what was I? Oh, the coffee thing. Honest to God, you guys, I don't know what the deal is, but I, um, it's not that I don't like coffee. It's obviously, I mean, that hasn't changed at all. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Allergies have been really bad lately. Um, I love coffee just as much as, as ever. I, I don't have, um, this is not a stance against coffee. I don't have a stance against caffeine. This is not at all, you guys. Very simply, um, I had gotten down to... Well, it, I think it's also probably when the weather gets nicer. I used to always have like a big cup of coffee like this in the morning. And then if it's wintry, I would have a cup of coffee like this at night. Um, but that was also probably part of why I wasn't sleeping. Um, because I would have a big cup of coffee like this at like 8.30 while I was watching CSI. And then I'm like this in my bed at night. <laughs> so... There's that, but I had cut down. I wasn't doing the, the one in the evening, and then I was having the one in the morning, and literally, you guys, this is exactly my brain process. I had cut out, you know, all of this other stuff. Remember, I had just randomly cut out soda, and I was like, that wasn't that difficult, and added all the vegetables, and so I was eating less of the processed foods, and then one of the days, I, I looked up, and I'm like, 
I don't, I don't remember the last time I've had bread or, you know, like a lean cuisine or anything processed. And I was like, I can do this. It was right before I was getting ready to go to that gluten-free expo with Corey. And so, and then I thought, what the heck? <laughs> Why am I having like, everything in my life is kind of like really nice and perfect. And then I have this coffee in the morning where it's like, I'm taking like a, a big scoop of nuclear waste and putting it in my coffee. So that's the thing is in order to have my coffee the way I've had it, I was putting so much Splenda in it and so much coffee made creamer. And you guys know, I've done this before. I've quit in the past, but I quit for the wrong reasons. And um, you know, it was all about a short term fix. I was like, I have to quit because so-and-so said that if she quit coffee or she quit soda, you know, she lost five pounds in a week. So everything with me was like, can I do this? And then if, if, if I didn't have some kind of immediate thing that I could see, like if I didn't drop a dress size immediately, I was like, oh, well, see, screw that. I might as well just go back and have whatever. There's been a lot of like weirdness going on. That shouldn't surprise you. Uh, but anyway, all that to say is, um, for me now, again, my focus is much more long-term and my focus is also in, this isn't just about choosing to do something for a diet and for weight loss, it's also choosing to balance these crazy hormones that are going on in my life because let me tell you, unbalanced hormones suck, okay? It sucks to be hot all the time. It sucks to not be able to sleep. It sucks to have your body feel like, you know, you're, you put on somebody else's body and you're like, what the hell is going on here? So anything that I can do that's that's long term in nature, that's going to be putting really good money in the bank in this body to make it better um, and maybe undo a lot of the damage that um, being on the pill for 20 plus years has done, um, being on double dose, double strength antibiotics for more than two years has done. Um, you know, again, tons of, of Diet Coke, Splenda and all this crap um, that I've had in my life has done. Yeah, I'm all about that. So. Does it mean that I don't want to have, like Carla was saying to me, she goes, you know, I just really love to have my cup of coffee in the morning. Don't get me wrong. Uh, hold on, I have to reply to this. Um, don't get me wrong. It's not that I don't want my coffee. I mean, there's at no time, at no time is there, hold on. I'm going to have to call you a minute. Um, who's your natural? Yes. Um... I, I mean, there's no, there's several times that I'll get up and be like, God, that sounds really good. I just don't want to make it the way I'm making it. So kind of the, the thing that I'm doing right now is I'll have, um, well, actually I've been getting soy chai latte at Starbucks. So once a week I go to Starbucks um, and I go on a Saturday and I get a soy chai latte. And remember, I, I do that at Starbucks because they have non-GMO soy, which makes me very happy. Um... But then, you know, it's not that I don't want to have coffee, but here's the thing that happens with me, you guys. And some of you, you know, you've got to make your own call. Some t you, you might not be lactose intolerant. Some people just have a lactose sensitivity. I don't know what it is that I have. What I can tell you is that my life is a lot better without dairy in it. Um, and a few times occasionally, like when I've been on some of my most recent trips, I'll get room service for breakfast, because that's one of my things that I do enjoy is getting room service for breakfast. And I'll get coffee, but I'll put regular cream in it, and then I'll put regular sugar. Um, I, if, if they have those natural, like, you know, uh, raw sugar, I'll, I'll do that, the best form of sugar. But I'm putting a lot less in, and the thing is, is I can have a cup of coffee with cream in it. It's just that then for like the next hour, I'm doing this really annoying, like, <clears throat> <clears throat> it's like I have drainage in my throat. So what's the payoff? It, you know, do I want to do that every day? No. And furthermore, ever since cutting out the whey protein, you guys, I am so rarely bloated ever, ever, ever. I used to always walk around going, why is my stomach bloated? You know, it's just really good feeling. So all that said, and then l lastly, this is never my last point, but you know how that goes. A lot of you guys have been asking about what is, what's the totality of everything I'm taking on a daily basis. So hopefully this is going to show you where I am right now. The only thing that I haven't added that I'm going to add this week or next is, um, probiotics. Sorry, I couldn't think of it. Um, so I start off and I, I told you guys, I take all of this with breakfast. So I, I make sure I have food in my stomach. Um, and then I take my vitamins because taking vitamins on an empty stomach is kind of like, 
that kind of a thing. So I take a, a multivitamin. Right now, this is what I'm taking. When I'm finished with this, I'm probably gonna move back into the GNC Vitapax. Wow, my back's hurting. So I take this. Um, this is what I was getting at Trader Joe's. Um, it just has calcium, magnesium, and zinc. Um, I'm gonna get to that in a second. I'm taking, um, this is my second week on the um, Genetics HD again, now that I know how I can incorporate this without having it keep me up all night. So I take all of these, these are three times a day, and I take them before four because of the caffeine. So I finish up with that. I'm taking one fish oil a day, and now, um, and we are doing a Twitter chat with the, these people tonight, which I'm very excited about because they are huge in Hawaii, and, and everything that they make, all these products, are made in Hawaii. You'll join our Twitter chat tonight. Um, I believe the hashtag is Super Nutrients. I'll make sure by the time I upload this video that I have it. Um, but I'm t starting to take the spirulina, hopefully I'm saying that right, and the bioastin, which today was the first day I took this. Um, but it says one gel cap daily with food. And um, it's uh, vitamin A, vitamin E, natural astin, xanthin. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, Bioastin's nature's strongest antioxidant has shown a wide variety of benefits in human clinical studies. Supports joint and tendon health. Told you I need that. Um, supports skin health during UV and sun exposure, eye health, anti-aging through cellular health, a healthy immune function, cardiovascular health, supports the body and recovery from exercise, yada, yada, yada. So this I'm taking, and if you guys do the research, look this stuff up on Amazon. I mean, of course we prefer, they're a client of mine, I prefer that you buy it from them directly. Um, but if you look up their reviews, you'll see that people rave about their products and how it's changed their lives. Um, the only thing I haven't used is this. I think that this is the powder, yeah, this is the powder. Um, and I think this is what I would be putting into, it says take one teaspoon with or between meals. Enjoy mixed and juice, fruit smoothies. So I'm gonna start putting this in my protein shakes. Um, and then the spirulina says, um, pure Hawaiian spirulina, um, vitamin A, K, B12, iron, magnesium, chromium, all of these, blah, blah, blah. But, um, Pure Hawaiian spirulina Pacifica is packed with nutrients and promotes a variety of health benefits. Cardiovascular health, eye and brain health, boosts energy, boosts immunity. Only pure spirulina Pacifica is grown with deep sea water containing all 94 trace minerals and elements and uses our patented ocean shield drying technology to ensure maximum nutrient levels. Grown in biosecure zone, our spirulina is free of pesticides, herbicides, and GMOs, ideal for vegetarians. Both of these are vegetarians as well, or vegan if I'm correct. 100% vegetarian, I'm sorry, it's not vegan. I thought I saw vegan on both of these, but I could be wrong. Anyway, so that's what I'm using, and then I told you I'm also addicted to um, coconut oil for cooking and also for my skin, which when I'm finished here, I'm gonna put this on my skin. Lastly, let me just wrap up by telling you what kind of a weekend I had this weekend, because literally, when I tell you how this happened, you're gonna go, seriously? I honestly was about ready to lose it this weekend and just go postal on somebody. Excuse me if anybody's a postal worker out there and says I'm discriminating. But let's see, when did this start? Um, so you all know I'm supposed to move in a couple of weeks. So I have all these boxes around my house and I was like, okay, this is cool. I think this was Friday. Was it Friday? Maybe it was, no, it was Saturday. Um, I... I wanted to go because my friend was moving, and so I texted her and I said, I'll stop over to get boxes from you. Because you know, then you can start packing as you go instead of just having one huge day of packing. And I said, I'll take the boxes from you. So um, I, I leave, I'm trying to make sure I do this in the right succession of how this happened. Um, I don't know what day it happened, but let me just tell you, these are the things that happened. I go drive over because I no longer have an SUV. And I knew that if I was going to get all these boxes that I had to borrow my, wanted to borrow my parents' uh, SUV. So I go over there to get their uh, SUV, go over to Miranda's house, get all the boxes, come back here only to find out that my water heater, after I've lived here for four years, has decided to suddenly stop working and start leaking. I'm moving in two weeks and my water heater decides to freaking die. And of course I can't in good conscience not like 
address it. And not to mention the fact that I'm scared. I hear this trickling in there and I'm like, and I kept hearing it. I'm very sensitive to noise, as you've understood. So, um, and of course it's over the weekend, so I'm like, I can't reach a plumber, blah, blah, blah. I don't know, I don't know what it's gonna do. Is it gonna explode? So then I'm telling my dad, my dad comes over here with me and we're like, you know, is it bad? Is it really bad? How much is it gonna cost? How much is it gonna, you know, when can we get somebody out here? Is it okay for over the weekend? So then that happens. So then I go to bring their car back. Then I come home and my computer dies, my desktop, which it kind of died about three months ago. And then I was working with the Dell people to get it to a certain point where I've been using it like it was brand new for the past three months. Literally just dies, will not even start. I couldn't get it to a prompt mode, couldn't get it into safe mode, nothing. I can fix most things, you guys. Totally died. And all I kept thinking about was all of the things that I'm usually very good about backing things up in the cloud. And I kept thinking like, oh, what about this? What about this? Oh crap, what about this? Back up, back up, back up. So that happens. I'm literally going, what else could possibly, possibly go wrong right now? Um, there was something also with the car. Then I, on Sunday, I'm so stressed out. I'm so annoyed. Everything is just, and there's a million other things. And then I go to just go tanning because I'm like, I just want to like lay down on the tanning bed and escape from this. And I pulled out, I had this bag of all these lotions that I bought. And I don't know if it was just a bad day or if it was stress or whatever, but they have these lotions that they call tingle lotions. Okay, now anybody that's gonna go, see, this is why you should go tanning, Kelly. I've been tanning for like 25 years. Okay, so this is just a very odd thing that happened. I use this tingle lotion, and a tingle lotion is just what it says. It makes your skin tingle a little bit, but it, it, it helps you get a really good color. I've used this before. Not a problem. Um, but I come home, and then I'm like, I'm so stressed out. Can't access my computer. I don't want to stress out about it. I, you know, I'd already spent two hours in there trying to fix it, and I'm like, screw it. So I go out on my deck. I'm already at 17 minutes. Go out on my deck. And not only do my mutant neighbors come out, and then there's kids playing out there. So it was just so loud, I'm like, I, I can't deal with this. I just wanted peace and quiet. And, and I come into my house, and my skin starts literally like, it was, it literally was like it was on fire. Um, suffice it to say that for the next three hours, it became such a crazy, bad situation. It was like burning, burning. And, and I was in taking a, uh, an ice shower um, or an ice bath. Um, I was calling, the, I, I was literally ready to go to the emergency room. It was that bad. I was walking around my house. I'm not saying this to be sexy. I was walking around my house naked, you know, putting like wet washcloths all over me, walking in by the fan going, please, please, please. And it's like, I'm trying not to itch and it's itching and it's stinging. And I was in hell. Finally got okay. I actually have to go to the doctor today, but it was the worst weekend, almost the worst weekend ever. And I'm like, I literally, do you see now why I said I'm, I'm waiting for a lamp to fall or my roof to explode or a comet to land here? I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. Um, that's been my weekend. That said, I've got my workout clothes on. I'm gonna go have a kick-ass workout and make the next three weeks just as kick-ass, if not more, than this first three weeks of Valerie Waters training for me. As I told you before, I've lost an inch on my waist, an inch off my thighs. Now it's time to do that. So you guys have a good rest of the day. Pray that I don't go insane. And um, that's it. See you tomorrow.